What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Happy May as well. Happy, happy May. Hope uh, everyone here has gone over their goals and what they want to accomplish. Before we dive into today's training, I'm just going to share with you kind of what I do. So typically what I do every month, um, at the end of the month, I will review my whole month. I will review my whole month. I'll look back on my weeks. I do weekly like forms that I fill out and stuff to see how I'm doing, keep myself accountable. I look back on my past and I see what can I improve in the next month. And then that month going into it, those are like my main focuses. So that way I can start repeating the same mistakes that I've made in the past month. Because the last thing we want to do when we're trying to accomplish a goal is to repeat the same exact mistake over and over again. All right. So that's typically what I do, and I set up my goals for the month, and then just go at it. But anyways, let's dive into today's training. So it's going to be a little quicker today. Today we're going to be talking about start with why, okay? What do I mean by start with why? So what I mean by start with why is that before you get a plan, before you get a diet plan or start your journey or whatever it may be, start with why first. Like why are you doing it in the first place, Okay. So like, why do you actually want to change? Why do you actually want to hit your goals? Okay, that's what I meant by start with why. And here's the reason why. Okay, so when I, just to give you a story, so when I first started getting into fitness, um, when I was younger growing up, so just kind of backtrack, okay? So when I was younger growing up, um, we'd be, we're extremely, extremely active, fit, playing hockey, soccer, football, everything. And um, with fitness, we would go to the gym and our, our trainer would make us train everything uh, with the whole team and stuff. And we do that, right? But here's the thing is when I actually tried to get into working out, so my brother would work out, my dad was all about it. He was trying to get me working out and stuff. And I just couldn't stick with it. I tried for like two plus years to get into it. I couldn't stick with it. All right. But here's the thing. Looking back is like I didn't have a why. And I didn't know at the time that working out and everything was going to help me feel better in my body. Okay. I didn't know. I just didn't understand. I thought who I was going to be at that time, you know, the insecure, uh, smaller, weaker person. I just thought like almost like that was who I was almost. And it's, it's just weird. It's really weird. Um, and anyways, so I didn't have a why behind it though. I didn't have a why. So I'd try to go work out. I would do biceps in the corner and stuff. And yeah, I'd feel awesome after the workout with my brother and everything. We'd be going home like, wow, man, this is awesome. Can't wait to come back. Never came back though. I never went back <laughs> and, uh, and just go on and on and on and on. And I never though, I never ever had a why behind doing it in the first place. Like when, when I started back then. But this time around, when I did start my journey and I never looked back, so about grade 11, I think. Yeah, grade 11, second semester, we started getting into fitness um, because uh, I took a class and uh, you can take a fitness class and they, the, guy, the teacher basically makes you work out. So it was perfect. I had my accountability partner right there, uh, made me work out. And my buddy and I were talking about it the other day, actually, and it's funny because back then I used to work out chest every single day because it's my biggest insecurity. So I just hit chest, 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 all the sing- all the time, every day and, uh, and whatnot. And I went really, really hard with it, but also my teacher was there keeping me accountable, right? But this time around, I finally found my why. And the reason why is because let's say a little bit into the working out and everything, I started to notice my shirt. I remember going to the bathroom, I was swiping the sweat off my head and I was taking a pee and I looked in the mirror I saw the veins in my, my arms and I saw my chest was filling out. My chest was starting to look all right in my shirt. And that is where the addiction started and where I caught the bug because I finally noticed I actually felt good when I looked in the mirror. I looked in the mirror and I was happy with myself. I was proud of myself and it was It was just an unbelievable feeling. It was like, oh my gosh, I think I found a secret. I think I found a secret. And it was, it was one of the craziest feelings I could ever remember just looking in the mirror and I had my pink shirt on. I still have it to this day because I don't fit into it anymore. And uh, I kept it for a memory, but I remember wearing that shirt and my, and it was fitting better. I just felt so good. And I was like, that is it. Like, that is it. This is how I'm going to get better. This is how I'm going to change and and everything. This is how I'm going to feel better about myself. So I'm going to build confidence. I'm going to work out. I'm going to go super, 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 super hard at it. And that was all I knew. Anyways, that's, that was kind of where my why developed. Okay. 
So I realized this was a way out to how I was feeling my body. These insecurities and everything I developed from grade seven that lasted me until grade 11, how I felt about myself, my body, being in pictures, you know, around people, low confidence, can't talk to people, stuff like that. It's like, this was the way out. This was it right here. And I just couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Um, and that was it though. That was my why. And then I stuck with it. So I got so addicted to it because like I want to change so bad because if you think about it, like I imagine you know you look in the mirror and you're just tearing yourself apart you know you're making yourself feel crap about the clothes you're wearing you're picking out all the little details and everything and you just you don't really feel good it's just like you're dealing with it you're, you're living with it but it's not who you want to be and it's just like it tore me apart it tore me apart so that was like my deep deep ingrained why and I got so addicted to that I would go to the gym at lunchtime. So I would eat my lunch really quickly. I go to lunchtime. I'd work out in fitness class. And then I would go to the gym after for anywhere between two to four hours a day. I was so addicted to it. Okay. It wasn't until I actually learned more about working out when I started to tone it down because I realized like that's actually not good for my muscles. But that's how it all started. And it causes a spiral effect. And I've been doing this now for seven years, seven plus years or so, six, seven plus years and uh, and whatnot. And even, you know, I've torn my back out in hockey and I still stuck through it. I still worked around and everything and usually stuff like that would knock people off. My why was more important than my excuses. And that's why I want to talk about was starting with why today. So that's my story right there. Same thing with the fitness side of things too. You know, um, and, and coaching people and everything. I always wanted to take like the the entrepreneurship route, and I didn't know what to do. And then I failed at a few other things I tried. But when I started doing this, I had such a passion and fell in such in love with helping people. That's like it just came naturally to me. So I'm able to do this stuff, and um, and and because my why was more important. Okay, than any struggle or anything else. So this is why you need to have a why when it comes to your fit goals, your journey. I promise you, like, it's like, I can't, well, I can't promise you, but I can almost guarantee you that if you don't have a why, then you're not gonna be able to make a permanent change happen if it's not important enough. And the reason why is because us people are lazy and our habits are too strong, you know, especially as we get older, our habits are so, so ingrained into us that it's even harder to break them. So if we don't have a strong why, we will always, always, always end back up in the same place. 90% plus of people who lose weight gain it back. Okay, it's not an easy fix. People who tell you it's an easy fix, these companies who share these products with you about the magical pills and supplements and shakes and stuff, there's a load of crap. It's just for money. It's not going to get you to your end goal permanently. And it's like, what's the point in doing this and putting in all this work if you're not going to be able to make it permanent, right? It's so frustrating and it ruins your self respect and self esteem, okay, because you're stabbing yourself in the back. So, that's why we need to start with why. So this time around on your weight loss journey, start with why. Why do you actually want to do this? And when I when I talk to people, I really break it down because it's like, you know, you ask yourself, it's like on, on, a, on, a, on a surface level, it's like, okay, why do I want to lose weight? So I want to get healthy and I want to get fit. Is that really important enough though? Do you think that why is important enough to give out, you know, going out that weekend or to give out on when that night when you're really lazy feeling, you had a long day at work and the last thing you want to do is cook up that steak or, or make that chicken or eat that chicken. You just want to have that, that quick Uber eats or whatever it may be. Is that why going to be important enough? No, you're going to brush it off. It's just surface level. It doesn't matter. Okay. You got to get deep into yourself and, 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 and get the emotions involved because that's when you're truly going to make a change and it's going to stick with you. And what I always say is make your why so powerful that it outweighs any kind of excuse to not do it. Okay. Because when you, when something is important enough to you, okay, when you want something bad enough, you will find a way to make it work. I promise you that's the way people are. We are so much more powerful than we can imagine. If you don't believe me, listen to this. If I told you, or if a doctor told you that they're like, Hey, you know, I live, in the, I live in Canada, so this is a bit different, but if you live in America or whatever it may be, let's say you go to a doctor and they're like, hey, you know what? I can save your son, okay? So let's say you have a son um, and they're like, I can save your son, but it's gonna cost you $50,000, okay? I can save your son right now, but it's gonna cost you $50,000. And let's say you don't have that money, okay? Do it, and the doctor's like, I'll give you a week, okay? And then we can do it or your son dies. I bet you, you're gonna find that money. I bet you, you are gonna find that money, you are gonna make it happen, you will. 
you will make it work. And the reason why is because your why is more important than any kind of excuse or any other crap. Okay, your why is so important to you that you go and make it work. You make it happen. And I truly believe that. And that's why when it comes to my goals and stuff, I only go for things that I truly want. And I set my goals to it because I know that I will just stick with it until the end. I will commit to it until it happens. And that is why you need to start with why. Because when you start with why, your, your why, let's say it weighs a thousand pounds and these excuses are going to weigh a feather. Okay. It's not going to mean nothing. So this is why for me personally, it's like when I am at nighttime, if I work too long and I sit all day and it's like I just ate and everything's out of spiral and I got to go to the gym because it's all my day. I go and do it and I don't think about it because I know that that is more important for me to get to that gym than the excuse of me going and laying in bed and falling asleep, whatever it may be, because I know what I've gone through. I know why I'm doing what I'm doing. It is way more important than me sitting around tonight. It is way more important. How I'm going to feel by getting that done is who I want to be. So I'm going to go that way. So. This is why it's so important because it's going to defeat the excuses and it's going to help you stick with your goals to build the new habits because here's what's going to happen on your journey. Okay. I can basically tell I've done this so many times now that I, I see it all the time. It's like you have the first, let's say two or three weeks, you're, you might be on fire. All right. You might be doing great. The first week you'll probably drop a ton of weight. Uh, unless you don't eat enough food, then you'll probably not drop a ton of weight. And then after that, you'll slowly slow down on the scale. You'll still lose weight. And then that's when the, the, the really the habit tension starts to come into play because that's when the mind gets uncomfortable and it's like, hey, we're doing things that are out of our comfort zone. We want to go back to our habits. So that's when you start getting more uncomfortable. It gets a little harder and you find these temptations and everything starts popping up. And that's your mind trying to drag you back to where you are because as people, <laughs> we, you know, our brains don't like change. We want things to be safe, secure, and the same. Okay. So that's why you need a why so you can push through that. You can push through that little barrier so that way you can get onto the other side. At that barrier is where 90% plus of people quit. If you just keep pushing through a little bit farther, you're going to be the one who makes it through. Okay? So it sounds so easy, I know, but when you're in the moment, it's so much different. I know you all know that. So, but that is why we need to start with why, because that is how, if you want to truly make a change, you got to have an important enough reason. So here's an example. Okay. Let's say I'm someone who has to lose 50 pounds because I am on blood pressure pills, but also the deeper reason is because I'm so depressed with myself that I hate myself and I have no confidence to go out and get a partner or live the life I want to live. Okay. Let's say that is my why. Okay. But if I'm sitting there with myself, I'm thinking about, you know what? I got to go on a diet or I, I got to lose some weight. You know, my, my pants are not fit and stuff. I got to lose some weight. And, and I just tell people and I, I, I say my reason behind this change because I got to get healthy. Okay. That's not the real reason. Okay. You got to dig deeper. Okay. So sit with yourself. If you don't have a why, here's how you do it. Okay. You want to sit with yourself at night or in the morning, take that time to yourself, cut out all distractions. Okay. And you just ask yourself, why do I want to make this change? And then automatically it's going to pop up and deep down we all know, but I'm not just gonna pop up. Well, obviously I gotta get healthier. I, my energy is crap. You know, I can't work as good as I want to all these reasons, but then it's like, you gotta ask yourself why again. Okay. But why is that important though? Oh, really? So why is that actually important? Why do I, why do I want my energy? And then you dig deeper and then you ask why and why and why until you get to the root problem. Okay. And when you get to the root problem where it's emotional for you and it's like, geez, like this is, this is touching my heart. That is your why, because that is going to allow you to push through when you feel like getting lazy and stuff. You can remind yourself, hey, remember, remember why you're doing this. Like, do you want to stay stuck? Do you want to feel depressed all the time? No, the only way out of this is through. I got to keep going forward. I got to make these changes happen. Okay. And lastly, I want to share this with you is that, you know, people, we perform much better when we have a purpose and a goal. Okay. So if your purpose is wrapped in with your, with your goal and your desire, it'll make it so much easier. Okay. So it's like, who do you want to be remembered as, you know, how do you want your family to be <clears throat> all that stuff that all ties into it. Okay. So the, the last thing I was going <laughs> to kind of forget now, but the last thing I was going to uh, uh, steer you all off with here, um, I completely forget, but you know what? If it comes to me, I'll, I'll start another live and, and share it. But that is the train for today though, is start with why, okay? It is so important. I promise you, y'all might not think it's important, but I promise you it is going to be a game changer for you, okay? Start with why if you're going to make this change. 
because it's got to be an important enough reason to be able to stick through all the challenges, the struggles, which are going to happen in your journey. Okay. If people tell you they're not going to happen, they're lying to you. It's just like any amazing thing you accomplish in your life, kids, getting a job, getting a car, first home, college, anything. All came with struggles, just like the pendulum. Okay, swings good, swings bad. It's all back and forth. That's why you need to keep moving forward. But lastly, is that it is easier if you do the proper plan. Okay, if you follow the proper methods to break your habits and build new ones, it is easier. It just depends on what path you take. Okay, now a lot of people you can go to the extreme and try to go from zero to a hundred, which that has a high failure rate. Or you can go at your own pace, slowly build up that momentum, slowly build up the habits. That's much better. Or if you had help, you can get there much faster whatever route you want to take just make sure that you take the right one because the last thing you want to do is be consistent in the wrong area and what i mean by that is like you know consistency it's 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 what we need as long as we're taking the right actions right because like i need consistent with sitting on the couch all day is that really going to be any good for me no that's not so it's like be consistent with the right actions that you're going to take in the right plan Okay, and I can do another training on that another day because that's a whole nother topic. But that is the training for today is start with why, okay? And if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired in your body and you don't wanna go through another summer, you know, feeling uncomfortable with clothing or on pills or whatever it may be, whatever your why is, and you do truly feel like you need some help with it, Click that link below or I got some words here, future now, it's a new future. Um, and click that there if you want some help and we can break down together and see if this would be a right fit for us. If not, I'll point you in another direction. If it is a good fit for us, awesome, let's make this change happen. Either way, take action today for a better tomorrow. You can do this. You can make this change happen if you want it. Start with why.